Hello everyone and welcome back to Graham's Mini Tours. You find me on stage at the Festival Theatre. Now today's little mini tour, I want to talk about theatre terms. In theatre land, we have different names for different things. For instance, behind me we have the wings, that's a wing space there. And if you look at the front there, we have the tabs, which is the front cloth. And if we look above us, we have the fly floor and the flies. Now, the flies, that's what all the scenery hangs on. And if you see the ropes here, that's the ropes that pull up the scenery. Now, you'll see these curtains here in the corner. These are called legs. Now, these... You'll have heard of the expression to break a leg and you must think oh, that's an unusual thing for someone to say as a good luck thing. Well, in the olden days, if you were on stage, let's say you were part of a, a variety act, if you broke through that leg, that means you were on stage and you got paid. Also, if the audience loved you, you would have to break this leg again to come on and bow or curtsy. And the more breaking of the legs they were, the more you were um, loved and adored. So that's where the expression break a leg comes from. Interesting. I've got another one. Follow me to the green room. So here we are in the green room. Now, the first thing you'll notice, I know, is it's not green. Now, why is that? Now, green rooms are used all over the country in the entertainment industry. In film, in television, you'll have green rooms. And basically, it's just a room that you rest in before you go on stage. There's a monitor here, you can hear what's going on stage before you go in. So, why is it called a green room? Well, this is my version, there's plenty of versions, but mine's is correct. So, in the olden days, when theatre first evolved, you would probably have a group of strolling players who would arrive into the village green, the biggest area in a town or a city that most people congregated on. And they would come on in a horse and cart, probably, and if you were on the cart, you would be on stage. So, for instance, here I am going, friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your bananas. And I would be on the stage here. But if you weren't ready to go on stage because it wasn't your cue yet, you would be lying resting on the village green, hence a green room. Now, behind me, you will see an empire sign. There used to be a chain of empire theatres all around the country, this being one of them. So this sign here originally sat just outside at the glass canopy that we talked about earlier. Would you like to see a dressing room? Most people like to see a dressing room. To me, they're very boring, but follow me. I often get asked, has there been any divas at the theatre? Has there been anyone who've demanded that the walls got painted a particular shade of white? Or they want these specific flowers everywhere? And I can honestly tell you there hasn't been. The walls are all the same for the about 20 odd years that I've worked here. People just want a functioning dressing room where they can have a shower and put their makeup on and it's clean. And there we go. So no exciting stories there, I'm afraid. I, I do have a story that perhaps I could tell you. Yes, I will. I'm not supposed to, but I will. Um, my mother used to work here as a cleaner. Uh, she cleaned all the dressing rooms. And uh, she came up to my house one day and she said, Oh, Graham, I was at work today and I was cleaning the star dressing room, which is the one we're in. And she said she came in and there was banana skins, sweetie wrappers all over the floor. And she thought, oh, whoever's in here is a pig. And she said it out loud, but then she heard coughing at the back of the, of the dressing room and she went, Ooh. And she thought, well, no, they are. So she said, um, you, all that rubbish that's on the floor, the bin's just there, pick it up and put it in the bin. And uh, the person agreed and went, oh, yeah, yes, I'm very sorry, and, and put all the rubbish in the bin. I said, oh, well, who was it, Mum? She said, oh, no, a singer. Uh, and it was during the wrong variety performance. Uh -huh. uh, and, um, oh, he has a hanky and, and, and um, he sweats a lot. Oh, what's his name? What's his name? Oh, yes, Pavarotti. She actually told Pavarotti that he was a pig and he agreed and put all the stuff in the bin.
So that's me signed out at stage door. Now, if you do feel that you can give a little donation, please do. Just go to the emergency page on the website at Capital Theatres. We would be most grateful. Um, and thank you again for watching and we'll see you the next time. Okay, bye.